Welcome to Bend, Oregon. Mount Bachelor to be precise. When it comes to skiing and snowboarding, this is the place to get your snow fixed. We got up super early this morning to get on the boat. We are heading 35 miles off the coast of San Francisco. You may or may not know this, but that is where the Farallon Islands are, famous for its great white shark population. We're hopefully gonna get in that cage back there and get in the water with the sharks and see them up close. All right, so we made it. We're finally here, Farallon Islands. Uh, we set anchor, we dropped the cage in the water, we've deployed some seal decoys. Now it's time for some fun. Woo! Oh, it was pretty ominous. Kind of creepy, kind of dark, super cold. A lot of times when you're planning a trip or a weekend adventure, you gotta book a hotel room, right? Well, I found a different, cooler option that might just be the best way to explore Northern California. All right, let's hit the road. Whether you're renting a RV or one of these cool Westies, there's so many places to just pull over and take in the sights. Home is where you park it. I love the open road and being able to just look out to the ocean on my left. Coastline as far as I can see, mountains to the right. Just beautiful California scenery, driving down Highway 1 in a camper van. There's really nothing better. You, you can't beat that. Hey everybody, I always try to live my best California life and riding a one wheel is definitely a lot of fun. I'm here today with one wheel chief evangelist, Jack Mudd at the Santa Cruz headquarters and we are taking you inside and on the trails for the full one wheel experience. Transportation, fun, electric, low profile, good on the environment, eco-friendly. I mean, what more do you need? This is, this is rad. What if I told you that you could go skydiving without jumping out of a plane or wearing a parachute? Well, check it out, my friends. It is a reality here. I'm at iFly, an indoor skydiving experience. Get ready to grab a paddle for some wet, wild adventure. I'm here on the South Fork of the world famous American River. Don't be fooled, because what's coming up next is known as the meat grinder. Is that right, Lee? First class three rapid of the day coming up. The goal is to stay in the boat, but it's not the worst case scenario if you fall out, because like I said, it's hot and it feels good in this river. Whitewater rafting on the American River, woo! Zip lines, suspension bridges, and timber obstacle courses? Say what? I am here at Mount Hermon Adventures in the Santa Cruz Mountains, and we're getting ready to soar above the earth in the branches of ancient redwoods. Let's go. Yes, because, you know, this could be a potential serious wedgie here, folks, but we'll try and avoid that. All right, guys, this is the first of many zips today. Let the games begin in the Redwoods. <laughs> Woo! That thing was fire! I felt like I was going 70 miles an hour there, baby. Well, right when I thought the zip lines were the all time, look at this place. This is so cool. This is like the ultimate playground. No hands. No hands. No hands, guys. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yes! Adventure, the great outdoors, and some good old fashioned fun are good for the body, mind, and soul. And I think if these redwoods could talk, they'd probably agree. See you guys. So we just traveled about four miles south and we came into an even bigger pod of gray whales, again, surrounded by Risso's dolphins. It's 75 degrees and we're surrounded by gray whales. I mean, it's so awesome. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live off the original California landscape? Well, today we're gonna learn a few of the most critical wilderness survival skills you need to stay alive in the woods. All right, everyone, let's pretend like this is a real life and death survival situation. Jack, show us how to make some fire, buddy. So this is actually 
a lot more challenging than it looks and quite frustrating because if you get a little bit of smoke but you stop, you gotta start right back over. So you can see I'm getting a little bit of smoke here, I'm trying to keep this fluid motion. Nice! Yes! Woo! Let there be fire, Jack! All right, so we were able to get a nice flame on our tinder bundle here, and we're not gonna freeze tonight. This thing, yeah. Oh, didn't hit the target, but that wasn't too bad. What do you think, Jack? 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 Jack! I guess it's just me. All alone out here. Good thing Jack taught me those skills. Ready to saddle up? Let's go. Let's do it. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! All right, bottom of the ball, head over. There it is. I'm at Mammoth Mountain in Mammoth Lakes, California. Now we all know this is an amazing ski destination in the winter, but what you may not know is in the summer, it's still an outdoor playground. So I'm here for three of my favorite things, a little adventure, food, and some good beer. So Michael, it definitely seems like mountain biking is the thing to do here at Mammoth in the summer, right? Absolutely. Variety of terrain, variety of riders, so anyone at any experience level can jump on the bike and have some fun. Are we gonna go shred some trails or what? We're definitely gonna go shred some trails. I'm gonna show you the best that we got. Let's do it! Sounds great. Yeah. Woo! That was such an epic ride, Mike. Awesome. Thanks so much for showing me around. But now there's something at Mammoth that I definitely need to check out. But in order to do that, I'm gonna have to trade in this bike for something with a little horsepower. Okay, I know I said horsepower, but what about mule power? I'm here with Bobby and we're about to embark on a trail ride up into the mountains. So Bobby, riding a horse is pretty common. Why are we riding mules today? Rainbow Falls is a west facing waterfall. So every afternoon as the sun moves west, it shines down into the mist below, creating the glorious rainbow you see behind me. I think the view speaks for itself. Mammoth, you didn't disappoint. Hey guys, I am in Alameda, just across the bay from San Francisco, and behind me is the USS Hornet, a Navy ship that is now a floating museum, and rumor has it is also known to have some paranormal activity. Let's go check it out. It's a helpful spirit yeah, on that the, bed. The okay, I'm cool with still, that. They're, they're still doing their job. They're it's still trying like they're to trying do... trying to put the pillow over your head no, on that bed. No, okay, cool. no, We're nothing's here to harm you. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> well, apparently it wants to bleep. Okay. <laughs> Usually because it calibrates it. <laughs> that's really unique, so. So that's a little unusual? That doesn't happen every Yeah, day? that doesn't always, yeah. No. Oh. No. <laughs> Why don't you just try asking? I feel like we have a third person in here hanging well, out with us. Honestly, I mean, <laughs> someone might agree. So why don't you ask a question and see if it'll answer. Uh, so are you okay with the fact that we're down here in the engine room or we come in peace? Are you, are you a little bashful now that I put you on the spot? Should we wrap this tour up? <laughs> I think someone's agreeing like, okay, enough already. You think enough's enough? Well. Thank you for joining us here today, whoever you are or whatever you are. Uh, we appreciate you sharing your time with us. And I think we will exit now. Come on, guys! Oh my god, look at this place. This is amazing. Oh, you are literally dangling up here, surrounded 360 degrees by these massive, majestic redwoods. The pod kind of moves with you. So it's kind of like you're, you're kind of like one with the tree branches is what it feels like in here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're like, we're kind of like going like this, which is, well, for me, it's thrilling. For some, it might be slightly terrifying because you are definitely up here a ways. Known as the sport of kings, the art of falconry is at least 4,000 years old. Today, I'm meeting up with master falconer Kenny Elvins to learn all about these majestic birds of prey. Woo! <laughs> you guys, 
I literally felt like that bird was about to run right into me at like 150 miles an hour. But that is what's so amazing about these creatures is that they can navigate at that speed again. And that it's actually coming to a human being, this wild bird of prey. <laughs> wow. That was amazing. I can definitely check this one off the bucket list. These birds of prey are nothing short of amazing, and it's been so powerful and amazing to witness them up close. I definitely feel like I need to get behind the helm here. Are you gonna trust me to drive this thing? Let's go. Can we get over the bridge too? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Oh man, let's go. <laughs> what an adventure, man! <laughs> Woohoo! Look at this view! Hey guys, it's time to saddle up and head to gold country. I'm here at Marshall Gold Discovery State Historic Park, and this is where Northern California's gold rush story began. Just trying to get the gold down to the bottom. Nothing but dumb luck for this poor miner. Guess I better not quit my day job. <laughs> So the adventure officially begins right now en route to the California Condor Sanctuary. We've got to traverse some pretty gnarly terrain in the backcountry. Finally arriving here at the Ventana Wildlife Society Condor Sanctuary. And what a great sign, you guys. There's, I counted eight condors flying around the property right now. Keep in mind, there was no guarantee that we would see condors at all today. So the fact that we're pulling up and there's eight of them flying. It's a good sign for what's to come. So we're out here on the sanctuary and I've had a lot of really amazing encounters all day with these beautiful condors. But actually, one of the dominant condors actually just flew right over the top of my head, flapping his wings and landed right on that perch out on that rock. I'm literally 20 yards from this beautiful, huge condor. It's got like a nine foot wingspan and is right there taking off. Oh. 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 Wow. My heart is racing, you guys. That, that gives me the chills. We are so blessed today to have that experience. While there is still much work to be done to protect this species, the Santa Lucia range of Big Sur is once again home to the magnificent California condors. Check out this beautiful rugged coastline. Today we're talking about sustainable seafood and how to source it responsibly. I'm meeting up with my buddy Brian to do some spearfishing and hopefully put some fresh fish on the table. Table. Hey guys, I am at the world famous Pismo Beach Pier. Now, I've been surfing for a long time, but one thing that I have never seen catching waves is a goat. That's right, goats that actually surf. So I had to come down here and check it out for myself. Now, if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of the big city, this is definitely the place. And I'm with Onal, who's going to tell us a little bit about glamping. Now, for those of you who don't know, that's in reference to glamorous camping, right? You may have booked your flight, but have you done your research yet to make it the best vacation possible? Just a little bit of prep work can go a long way. First of all, experts say travel like a local. Maybe even dress like one. Get to know the culture. Eat like the locals. Join in on the traditional festivals or ceremonies. All right, are we ready to start this competition? Marty, you've got your business partner here, sir. Constantino. Constantino, okay, on my count, we're gonna get started on three count. One, two, three, milkshake madness. And 
jalapeno M&Ms, folks. That is a curveball. Got the dark horse over here. He's being quiet. Tell me, what's going through your head? I got you some cheesecake with some crunch and some strawberries. He dropped the cheesecake into the milkshake. You've got to be kidding me. These guys are pulling out all the stuff. All right, and the countdown, folks. The final, final. You better get it in the cup because this is it. Five, four, three, two, one. Voila. I want a cheesecake crunch Ross. Woo. See that on the end? See, he's got some he's got some points, some bonus points throwing the Ross name in there. Uh, this is the downtown special. Downtown special. Okay, here we go, folks. Three, two. Wow. That's close. That is dangerously close. I'll tell you why he wins. Because uh. I'm not a huge peanut butter fan. But they are both incredibly delicious. You guys should be proud. I make a serious milkshake in here. Don't Thank you. Skinny chef rock. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We're doing it here at my milkshake bar. That was awesome. Check it out, I got my skates on and I'm ready to roll and I've got the perfect person here to show me what's up. They call him the godfather of skate. Hey! David Miles Jr. Junior, right? Bow down! Right on. Hey, it's the godfather of skate. How you doing, my friend? I am here at the Immortal Reckoning, the brand new immersive haunted experience opening here at the San Francisco Mint this fall. I'm about to head into the dark and meet up with the legendary drag performer, Peaches Christ. The fabulous Peaches Christ in the flesh. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good, but I am so creeped out in here. Tell us about the storyline with the Immortal Reckoning. The Last Supper. It's the, it's the dining room. Mm. You got some protein on the table with some flies. That's right. I like it. Uh, the poor yes. Sally. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my guard is up. Oh, the infirmary. Ah, ah, yes, ah, you too. Yes. yes, yes, bless you. Bless you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You didn't run any, into anybody, just well, animals maybe? Just, just some mountain lions and some bears. <laughs> There's a few black bears and some mountain lions. As long as you know how to deal with those situations, you'll be okay. Yeah, and did you ever talk to yourself? Did you find yourself having conversations with Ross? <laughs> Funny you <laughs> ask. There was a couple nights where I was cracking jokes with myself just to keep the sanity, just to keep the vibes high. What would you tell everyone if they're thinking about it? You can do it, Danny, and you can get out into the wilderness. Uh -huh. I would say if you were going to do the wilderness trip, just basic survival, food, yeah. water, shelter, <laughs> know how to make a fire, right? Keep yourself safe out there. And just relax and enjoy. That's where we come from. So yeah. it's awesome. Thanks. Oh, look at you go. <laughs> I like where this is going. We're going to take you back in time to the 1940s. America was victorious in World War II, and it was a time to celebrate. It, it was for sure. And that's Stranger Things is such a great show. But Jake, I got to ask you, are you a fan of pizza? Oh, yeah. America's cities have a ton of amazing art and music, so I'm going to visit a few to sample the sights and sounds shaping our cultural landscape, all in the brand new Scion I Am. I'm Ross Thomas, and this is Grid Guide. What an incredible ride through the Mission District in San Francisco. This place is truly off the hook. From the murals in Balmy Alley to the Lunar End Gallery to the bumping sounds of the chap, truly be on everyone's to-do list. And stay tuned and follow us as the adventure continues to our next city, Sacramento. I'm Ross Thomas. Thanks for watching Grid Guide on Made Man, brought to you by Scion. Oh, oh, this is nice. Basaha. 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 Where exactly are we specifically in Morocco? Well, we are in the southeast of Morocco. So, Mustafa, what's the proper protocol for getting on the camel? Woosh. So what's that mean? Yes. Ooch. Means sit. Sit down. Ooch. Sit down. Ooch. 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 Oh, you don't like that. You don't like being told what to do, do you? Ooch. Ooch. Don't get any ideas. Oh. Oh. It's all good. I'm okay. Ooch. Ooch. It's just another day in the office. This is a spectacular sight to see. You can feel the energy just vibrating off of this ice right here. This is where I feel most alive. 
out in nature, exploring, experiencing new cultures and new places. Vámonos a la Puerta Williams para mirar los Yagans. Today we have the really rare opportunity to take this plane down to Puerto Williams and meet with some of the last remaining Yagans. These are considered to be the southernmost people of the world. What was the essence of the Yagan people before the arrival of the settlers? Well, I'm gonna go for a little late afternoon surf sesh. See you later.